Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be showing you how you can get your game to regenerate the player's sprint energy. You guys can also tie this into your health system if you want to, I'm going to be giving you that option. So what we're going to be doing is creating a function attached to a timer which is going to continuously check to see whether or not the player has already got the maximum energy and if it doesn't then it is going to regenerate that for them. So what you need to do is open up your third person character, give it a couple of seconds to load and what we're going to be doing is creating a set timer by function node which is going to allow us to do that. Now we're going to be attaching all of this to our begin play so we're going to be adding it at the very end. So what you want to do is from add to viewport we are going to set timer by function name and then what this is going to allow us to do is loop this function and then give it a time for which it's going to loop it on. In this case we're going to be doing it every one second. What we now need to do is create a function which is going to be looped every one second. So create a function, so go to function on the left hand side and then we're going to give this the name energy regen, just like that. And then if we go back to our main event graph, we can then put that name of the function into here. Or alternatively what you could do is just right click, rename and copy this exactly. And then with this, just paste it in here and you know it's going to be in there and correctly 100% because if your name isn't correct, it's not going to fire off the function. So moving on from there, double click on your function and we can start running and working on the code which is going to regenerate that energy of yours. So the first thing you want to do is run a branch check to see whether or not they've already got the maximum energy. So what we're going to be doing is dragging out from condition and we're going to check to see whether or not the float is less than another value. So get your sprint energy, hook this into your A and what we're going to do is run a check to see whether or not it is less than 1. If it is less than 1 then what we're going to tell it to do is set sprint energy to float plus float we're just going to get the original value and then just add 0 0.05 to that. And then from here what we're also going to do is run a quick little print string to tell us that this has been done. So make sure you add in the right node, print string. And then for the in string we are going to set this equal to this value here. So what you should have now is some code which checks to see whether or not the sprint energy is less than the value we've got here. If it is, then increase it by 0 0.05. What we also need to do after this is we need to run a check to see whether or not the value has gone over the maximum amount we're allowed. So run another branch check between this print string of yours here and what we're going to do is simply do float greater than and we're going to go for B being 1, sprint energy is going to be A, so A is sprint energy, B is going to be 1 and if it's true all we're going to be doing, if it is greater than that, we are going to be setting sprint energy to 1 which is the maximum value. Hook this up into your true and then just bring it all into the print string just like that. And then if it's false, what we're going to be doing is just having another print string going in there and the in string is going to go to the value which is all the way over here. So this is what your function should look like. So just to confirm, it's checking to see whether or not they've got less than the maximum amount of sprint energy and then from there it's going to add a little bit to it. This is essentially our regeneration here and then after that we are running a check to see whether or not with the regenerated amount it has gone over the maximum allowed. If it has, set it to the maximum. If it hasn't, carry on and just run that print string. So what we should be able to do now is if we go ahead and hit compile and hit play, 
If we use our sprint energy, you can see as it is using it, it is also going to regenerate it at the same time. So what we need to do is add some code to check to see whether or not they are sprinting because we don't want it to regenerate while they're sprinting because it just looks quite odd. So open up your third person character again and then just at the beginning of our code here, directly from the beginning of the function, we are going to run a check to see whether or not our sprint is active. So get your sprint active boolean and hook it up into your branch. If they're not sprinting, then regenerate. If they are, do nothing because we don't want it to regenerate while they're sprinting. So if we go ahead and use it now, you can see while we're sprinting, it is not going to regenerate. However, when I do go ahead and come to a full stop, you are going to notice that it's going to start regenerating just the way that we want it to. Also, what I'm going to be doing while we're taking a look at some of our sprint code, I'm going to be making a quick change to it so that if you stop, then it is going to stop using the energy. So if you release the key, it is going to stop you sprinting instead of continuing for the whole duration as it is at the moment. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So just before it does this, little check at the beginning here, where it's checking to see if it's got enough energy, we are going to be checking to see whether or not they should still even be sprinting. So just at the end here, after the delay, run a check to see whether or not sprint is still active. If it's true, then you want it to go back to the beginning here. But first, we are going to add a reroute node to keep it nice and clean and hook it up into there. If they're not sprinting anymore, we don't want it to do a single thing. So if we go ahead and compile this, also make sure your false just goes straight into the end here as well, just to make sure it does stop for us. So if we go ahead and press play now, if I hold down shift and then let go, it's going to stop sprinting straight away and then it's going to continue to regenerate our energy. And notice just the way that we've set it up in the top left hand corner, you can see our values for the print string. It stops at one. It's not doing the code over and over and over again. So that is pretty much everything for our sprint system all set up and good to go and we've also got regenerating energy i hope you guys have enjoyed the video as always once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on patreon if you want more videos like this check out my patreon page using the link in the description to stay up to date on new releases make sure you follow us on social media